그리고 저희가 게리 밀러 사무실 앞에서 이런 반임이법을 통과시킨 거에 대해 저희가 가만히 앉아 있을 수 없어서 우리의 그런 목소리를 전달하기 위해서 이 자리에 모였습니다. 
Brothers and sisters, every time in this country there is an economic crisis, going back in the uh, 1800s and then in the 1930s. In the 1800s, we had the Chinese Exclusion Act. In the 1930s, we had little yellow trains that shipped uh, anyone who was of color and primarily Mexicano people back to Mexico. 500,000 deported, blamed for the eco economic problems in this country. Cada vez que hay un crisis económico en esta nación, le dan la culpa al inmigrante, le dan la culpa a la gente de color. Y estamos aquí a decir que no son... Es legalización, y esa es la razón que estamos aquí. And we're here to say, brothers and sisters, that this bill, if enforced, will mean the treatment of all undocumented, not only undocumented as criminals, but anyone who will help them or who will hire them. It is a bill that will treat children as criminals who were born here in this country and who rightfully are citizens. And we're here to say that all the enforcement in the past has not worked. The studies show that in fact, enforcement is resulting in our immigrant brothers and sisters being afraid to go back. And we're here to say we have to try a new way Legalization, we have a bill in Congress right now, the Ag Jobs Bill. We support the legal legalization aspect of the Kennedy-McCain Bill, and we support the DREAM Act. That's where we're here to say, December, people of all colors. Thank you. Who are the people who clean the homes? Who are the men and women who work in construction? Who are the men and women in the hotels and in the restaurants all over this country? Who are the ones who take care of our children and the elderly and the sick? Immigrants. We are here to say that the answer to immigration, immigration reform, is not to make criminals of people who work hard and make our economy work. That does not work. We're not going to support it. And we will do everything possible, if they try to pass a law like that, to stop it. We will be in the streets. We will never stop hearing from us. Because it is not fair to try to make criminals of hard-working people. Yeah. We didn't do it. Nosotros sabemos quiénes son los trabajadores en todas las industrias. Y no hay...
just briefly. 어, 지금 앞에 나오신 분들이 말씀하신 거는 우리 미국이 이민자의 나라고 이민자의 손으로 미국이 만들어졌고 우리 이민자들이 가정에서 직장에서 사회에서 헌심으로 일을 하면서 이 미국 사회를 건설하고 있는데 이런 연방 공화당 보수 의원들은 우리 이민자들이 이 미국 사회의 문제의 원인인 것처럼 우리 이민자들이 이 사회의 범죄자인 것처럼 우리 이민자들을 어 범죄자로 몰고 있다고 합니다. 그렇기 때문에 이런 법안들이 통과됨으로써 많은 1,100만 명이 넘는 선미비자들이 하루아침에 범법자가 돼가지고 어 경찰들이 그 사람들을 감옥에 가두고 추방될 수가 있다고 합니다. 그런 그 이민법이 앞으로 내년 2월에 상원에서 본격적으로 논의가 되는데 우리 이민자들이 힘을 단결해서 우리 연방 상원 의원들한테 이런 반이민법을 막는데 우리 이민자 커뮤니티에 목소리를 전달하는 것이 중요할 것 같습니다. 감사합니다. Era ilegal y era un crimen que un niño de color fuera a una escuela de blancos. Era ilegal que la gente se subiera enfrente de un autobús. Pero la gente unida, los civiles, afroamericanos... No sé cómo se atreve Miller, todos los antimigrantes, comer la comida que nosotros cultivamos. ¿Cómo pueden permitir... Our next speaker um, is a representative from um, Ayla Ana Luisa, um, who's going to speak to us about um, what this, how they have as, le as the legal community tracked this bill. I'm an immigration attorney. Proud to be here. Look around. This is America. Each and every one of you. Long has this country been built on American. On, on immigrants that are now Americans. America is a country of immigrants. And as an immigration attorney, I can attest to that. Each and every day of the hard work that each and every one of you contribute to this great country. That's what makes this country great. And we're here to tell Mr. Miller that this is not the solution to continue to build this country. This country needs immigrants. This country has had immigrants in the entire history of this country. Let's continue to advance this country with the support, with the respect, and with the contribution of all immigrants. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Minerva Gomez and I'm a student at Long Beach State and soon to be a graduate student at Cal State Fullerton. 
The reason why we're here today, if such bill as the one that Gary Miller co-sponsored were to go through, is not just going to affect our immigrant communities like everybody thinks. It's going to affect everyone. Because if I was a citizen of this country, I would be told that I would no longer practice the freedom that I was given because I would be considered a criminal. Because if I was a legal resident, I would need to be careful of who my friends are and if they're immigrants and if my family are immigrants. I would no longer be able to speak to them because I might be denied my legal residency with my permanent citizenship in this country without any notice. And if it's this is not acceptable. This is injustice. This is against to the civil and human rights. But that's for we are here today, united. Nobody, nobody, give it up, give up to us and give up to send back our countries. That is our message for labor community and labor movement. salido en algún tiempo 
So because of this and because we're here working, we are here providing new blood to the system, new blood to the United States, even though some people don't do not want us here, we are here. And we want you to give that to your boss and tell him that we were here today asking for respect. And we, especially because it's Christmas time and, and that system, we forgive. No, we do not forget. And we know that history is in our part, the same way that it's been in the part of all immigrants in the past, including Mr. Miller's ancestors. Many communities have come together in opposition to it. But we understand that Representative Miller is one of the authors of the bill and one of the leaders that has really led the charge towards this bill's passage. And we're very concerned about the role that the representative has played in it. And we want to remind you once again that this is not, um, this is not something that we're talking about our communities. And that's how we decided that. Last week, you know, many of our constituents, many of our members uh, said, I think that what the congressman has done is saying that there is no respect for my community, there is no respect for the people, you know, my family or my groups and my many neighbors that also live in the community of La Habra, right? So as, as constituents, you know, I just need you to know that we will definitely be mobilizing, we will definitely be organizing because it's an outrage. It's a, really a slap in the face and it's not acceptable. And so when you do that, you mobilize people, you bring the cameras, you bring everything that's, that's coming basically. So we want to make sure that you know that this is not just a group of folks that are angry outside, but that this is going to be a very well organized, broad-based coalition of community-based, you know, diverse communities, labor, you know, and business that's going to come together to oppose uh, really, really what's, what's happened. So, you know, I want to make sure that that's very clear. And as a constituent, you know, let you know that I'm really appalled and we'll be definitely organizing my community.